Hello everybody, I'm the Solo Gamer, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as Red Italy. Well, of course, that's soon to be Red Italy. Communist Italy, the best Italy, of course. Uh, but first we have to deal with uh, Ethiopia, which is the primary concern right now. Historically speaking, Ethiopia won this war, I think. I'm not too sure about this side of World War II, but um, I think that's what somebody else was saying. So regardless, we're not going to lose this one. It is going to be very, very easy for us to win this one. Uh, and, uh, yeah, there we go. So, anyway, we're just gonna let time pass, because it's gonna take a little bit of time to actually get to Addis Ababa, because there's tons and tons of mountains. That's why Ethiopia does historically well, um, just with any battle. Against Westerners, against other African nations, they have always done well because of their region, uh, geography. The mountains, they're really, really great. Um, but yeah, so yeah, we're, we're gonna lose some places, like, in here, but we will catch up, and uh, we will be able to take Addis Ababa. Especially, thinking about it from down here, we can easily sweep in from the south. They don't have much forces down here, and we're going to crush this army right here. So, we're, we're going to be fine. So, I I'm going to explain a little bit about what I'm going to be doing in the next couple episodes. So, first and foremost, uh, Saudi Arabia looks great. It's a nice, gigantic sprawl of land. And uh, it gets us closer to other big powers in the area, which have lots and lots of oil. Saudi Arabia doesn't. They only have three, for some strange reason, but Iraq and Iran have gigantic amounts of uh, oil, which I want. Now, sadly, I think... Oh no, these guys aren't guaranteed. Okay, I thought these guys started off guaranteed by somebody. Well, regardless, we can go in here, we can take Saudi Arabia first, and then either move into Iraq or Iran. Probably a rock. It might be a little bit easier. Other than that, though, we're going to... What else are we going to do? Prepare the front lines. Which are great at this point. Logistically speaking, we are doing pretty well. We're actually coming up with infantry equipment. In four days, we'll be, uh, you know, starting to give ourselves a nice little surplus. I think my microphone is slowly starting to fall down here. Let me just fix that. One thing I should mention before I mention uh, aircraft is that I am reorganizing my navy. As you can see, I have a bunch of navy uh, submarines coming in right now. Instead of having them all split up and doing different things, I'm going to merge them all up. You know, submarines and then the navy. And I'll explain why in a bit, but I have all of my navy is coming back to port just so I can kind of reorganize them. One thing I didn't know when I was looking up names for these, I don't know, these these flotillas or armadas, um, is that the Italians had one of the largest submarine flotillas in the entire world at this time, you know, barring the Soviets. They had one of the largest, which is crazy. I mean, you can see it right here. There's so many goddamn submarines. But yeah, they had, they had the most, pretty much, which is insane. Because you only really hear about uh, German U-boats, nothing really about Italy. So we're just going to grab these guys, bring them back to Rome, kind of reorganize them, and then send them back out. So my navy, I think they're back home, are they? Uh, navy, pretty, well, yeah. All right, and now we're just waiting for these guys to come back, and then we can reorganize them and kind of send them out. Now, our navy is going to get utterly crushed by the, uh, the British. I mean, they have the most, I, I, they have, just have a shitload of navy right now. Navy power. That's convoys. Yeah, this is the estimated number of ships, and it's two it's definitely 232, which is a lot more than us. So, we're definitely not going to be able to compete with uh, the United Kingdom. We just have to hope that we can distract them long enough to maybe give ourselves a nice little invasion. I don't know. I mean, we'll, we'll see. Uh, it's, it's, it's not going to be fun. Same goes for aircraft. The aircraft... Uh, now, it says 766 to 1968, but generally speaking, by the time the war begins, they have roughly 3,000 uh, aircraft in reserve, which is absolutely insane. We, on the other hand, don't have... Oh, we actually have 706. That's not bad, but at the same rate, we're also going to be fighting France's gigantic armada... Uh, armada, sorry, Air Force... Regardless, what I'm trying to get out of here is that the Axis do not have a great start in terms of Air Force and Navy. But, as Italy, we can actually change that and, and kind of work on that. Now, while we don't have a lot of production to work on right now, 
I have queued all these guys up, obviously. Um, and we do need to upgrade our fighters and stuff like that. Something that the British start off with more so. They have better equipped fighters and bombers. So that's also another factor into why they were so great with their air force. But uh, we, will, we will think of something. Because one of the problems that people do when they play as the Axis is they get into the war and then they get relentlessly bombed. And that's fine. It works. It worked for the Axis for a long time. They were relentlessly bombed, uh, but they still had this nice, huge factory powerhouse that kept cranking out things. But if we want to be sufficient in this war long term, then we definitely need to think of something. Uh, are we going fast enough here? Yep, these guys are slowly starting to die. These guys... Oh, we actually pushed in here, like a little bubble in here. And uh, hopefully we'll take out these guys soon enough. Uh, but yeah, we'll have to think of something. Maybe even work on factories over here in uh, Africa. And then build planes that way. I don't know. We'll figure that out when the time comes. I have been learning a lot more about planes and navies, though. So, I won't be completely uh, out of my league. Where are these? Oh, there's one right here. Let's replace that with a regular infantry. I know we don't really have enough right now, but I don't... I don't like this colonial crap. Is that it? No. We still have four. Where's... Oh, they're fighting. Alright, well, once they're done, they're getting replaced. Because I do not want these stupid colonial divisions in my thing. In fact, what's the difference? Uh, okay, so we have three by two of infantry. 3x2 of infantry, but they also get an engineering company, which definitely helps in terms of defense, breakthrough, soft attack, hard attack, and entrenchment. Uh, organization is a little bit less, but at the same time, you're getting a lot for your uh, for that little expense there. And, not only that, I, didn't, I don't think I showed this off before. I might have, I don't know. Uh, it's only been, what, two episodes so far? We can go ahead and add different support things in here. I do want to add support artillery, but I don't think we have... Artillery being worked on. No, we actually don't. Do we even have artillery to begin with? Yes, thankfully. Alright. So we'll have to start working on this, and then we can get some artillery in the ranks, which is definitely going to make things a hell of a lot easier for us to take. If we had artillery down here, the war would probably be over. <laughs> right? I mean, that's just... It's it's so powerful. Alright, they're attacking us from Adisa Ba. Ba. Right? Is it? I can't say. Yeah, Ababa. Okay. Uh, so, but they're not gonna win. They are definitely not gonna win. And then we could swiftly take a lot of land in here. Now, what are you doing? You're reinforcing. You are too. Okay. I want this to end really, really quickly here, so I can just move in up here. You know what? There we go. That's better. Just so I can take more land. All right, yeah, we have planes that aren't doing anything. That's that's fine. I mean, we already have down in here. We already have a lot of stuff happening. We have the air support superiority. I don't think Ethiopia starts with any planes, but uh, we are doing a lot of groundwork down in here. Hopefully, not destroying any infrastructure. You guys are fine. Uh, oh, navies. That's right. You must be back now. Yep. All right. So all of uh, let me hang on. Let me select the right one first. Ah, come on! It's weird. It's it's very backwards, this menu. If you want to select multiple units, you have to hold shift before you click the first unit. Or else, it'll just go like that, and you'll select the only thing there. Alright. Hold shift. There. All of the flotillas. Group them up. Go back. Alright. So we have the Regia Marina, which was actually the name of their navy at the time, which was pretty cool. Like I said, I I thought it was kind of cool if I went back and renamed it to what it should be. Um, now, I don't think the, na the submarines didn't really have names. They said that they were the Royal Italian Submarines. What I will do is take out Italian because we have to do something different here. So first and foremost, we need to split these guys in half. We're going to have an east and west... F uh, well, mm. Yeah, yeah, no. We're going to have an east and west navy. So this one is going to be west. Let me just make sure this is evenly distributed. In fact, it might not even need to be evenly distributed. Let me just go back in here. What the hell am I doing? Jeez Louise. 
I keep grabbing the submarines. All right, get back in here. What I want to do now, how do I make a new unit? There it is. All right, all battleships on one side. All heavy cruisers. And then we'll take... Oh god, there's so many of these guys. Come on, get in there! I want the majority to be in the Western Fleet. I mean, I know I'm taking it from it, but I'll just rename it after. It's easier that way. Because the British Navy is far more superior than whatever's going to fight us out past Arabia. Alright, that should be fine. And... Take most of these guys as well. Okay, that should be fine. Select that one. You are the Regia Marina West. Okay. This guy is going to be called East. And he's going to protect everything past Arabia, which is not much, to be honest. But, this way here, we can at least do, um, invasions. Invasion plans on all these countries. Now, sadly, can we not get over here? Why not? We know too little about this region. But why is it blocked off? Do we need, like, radars in a certain radius? Maybe. Um, what, that sucks, though, because I was planning an invasion on Saudi Arabia. That's the only thing I can do with Saudi Arabia. So if we take a look... Come on. There's no connection here. And the only other way would be going through Egypt, which, you know, the United Kingdom will not let us through, nor will I, nor can I invade from their lands, which is kind of interesting. Um, so we're going to have to do a, a naval invasion. And I was hoping we wouldn't have to fight in the mountains here, but it looks like we have to, because we cannot go around, because we will not be able to, you know, get superiority in this region. Unless we can do it with planes, but I'm not too sure that works. Naval invasions are weird. Alright, they're very, very weird and not too easy to figure out. Alright. The Regia Marina West is going to protect the opening to the Mediterranean. Just like that. Alrighty. Now for the submarines. I think we can split this up into fours because they'll just be doing a lot of convoy stuff. Yeah. Select that. Split you in half. Okay. Let me just copy this because it's going to be so much easier. So you're going to be... Let's see. North? Yeah, we'll call it... We'll, north, east, south, and west. North. East. I know this is kind of time-consuming, but... I mean, you guys get to see... What goes into managing a navy at the very least. South. And there was one more, no? Oh! I didn't even split it. Alright. West. Alright. For the northern route, we're going to go in and do convoy raiding. And that's going to be all of this stuff. Maybe, well... Okay, maybe not the Labrador Sea. Maybe the North Atlantic Ridge. Because no matter what, they have to come down this way. Alright. Take off. No. Alright. We gotta back it up all the way. Oh, it has to be connected. That's right. Uh, well then let's just do this. Right. I think that's gonna be better for us. And then, west. Where's west? We'll cover the opening... to uh, the Mediterranean and uh, some of this stuff in here, making sure that these routes are all secure. And then, of course, we have South, which will protect... Whoops. The Cape of Africa, all the way up the channel here. And then, last but not least, we have East, which will protect... the Eastern Mediterranean, the Red Sea, and the Arabian Sea. Not protect convoy destroy because we don't want any convoys coming into the Mediterranean or helping the gross partners up here. That's what we're hoping will be successful, right? So we have our two navies going out, Regia Marina West and East, and our four submarine flotillas heading out to do some convoy raiding when the war begins. 
I'm hoping that's going to be efficient enough. Of course, we can build more. Uh, in fact, we are building more. Uh, we are building a lot more submarines as well, which I do not think I need. I will build one because we already have progress towards it and it's almost done. But I think we'll build more light cruisers. More battleships. And that's about it. I'm not sure why these ones are separate. They're the same thing, but whatever. It's fine. That'll finish and then we'll go into this one. Um, I do want to finish these ones first just so we have maximum naval docks when we can. Whoops. Okay, and then it's going to be light cruisers. Battleship will be last because it's going to take the longest. All right, there we go. Perfect. And of course, I think we got some more naval dockyards from uh, one of our things. Ethiopian War Logistics, which gives us uh, about seven. Which is pretty nice. All right. Now, this episode has pretty much just been a lot of reform in the military and the Air Force, but if we don't do it now, I mean, it's going to be really bad once the war begins. Let's see. Did we make any progress down here? Uh, not so much. No. In fact, it looks like we might have lost... No, we're going here now. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> uh, right? Anyway, um, yeah. So, not much has really happened because, of course, we were doing the Navy and Air Force stuff. In fact, we didn't even touch the Air Force stuff. But, just note that I did separate the Air Force. We now have, what, three divisions out here? Uh, Eritrea, Venice, Lombardy. Yeah, yeah. So, we have three bases, right? So, we have Venice, we have Lombardy, and we have Eritrea, which is down in here. And uh, they're all split in half, essentially. We've got some fighters and, tacti and tactical bombers up there, and same thing over here. It's not going to get any better than that for quite a while, <laughs> sadly. All right, come on. This guy has been fighting for a long time now. Let's go. Let's kill him. Let's go up to speed three so that we're actually making some progress. All right. Uh, are we not flanking this guy? There we go. That should help. Our mountain division is engaged here. Is that the only one we have? I think so. Yeah. All right. How are we doing with our logistics? Fantastic. We are 311 over, which is pretty damn awesome. We can start working on some uh, some divisions. In fact, I want to build some... Well, actually, how much more stuff do we need for this? We need 850 support equipment, or infantry equipment, sorry. Uh, whereas this one is 610. There's a 240 difference here. That is pretty insane. But, of course, Mountaineers need more. All right. That happens. Yep, the remilitarization of the Rhineland. Germany did it. Germany finished. Fantastic. So did ours. So we'll kind of look at that in a second. Um, right. It also has our artillery, which uh, we're not making any artillery, so we cannot make a division of these yet. Okay, just make one of these. And go to the front line. All right. Yep. Remilitarization of the Rhineland, which essentially unlocks this area in here. Worrying, but not so much. I mean, Germany is kind of still on my side at this point. Okay, so we can't do Triumph in Africa yet because we do not have Ethiopia. That will be done as soon as we possibly can, but we might as well keep going down industrial effort. Uh, no. Army Primacy, which would give us two 50% research bonuses for land doctrines. Absolutely. When is that going to be completed? The first one's going to be completed going to be completed in 228 days, which kind of sucks, but uh, it'll be done eventually, and then we can use the other one. All right, uh, I'm hoping we can finish this war by the end of the episode. I don't want to be in it for too too long here. Come on, finish this last little battle. Insufficient resources: oil, rubber, and chromium. If we needed any other reason to invade the Middle East, this would be it. <laughs> we just need a lot of oil. I mean, we can of course. No, we don't have much fa- uh, yeah, we don't have much civilian factories to begin with, so we really can't be trading. Yeah, there's, there's just no way. Alright, come on! We're almost goddamn here. Why are you going backwards? Go forward. Come 
Come on, quickly, quickly invade Addis Ababa. We don't want to take too many losses here because we will, of course, they will capitulate once we take their capital, which is all we need right now. Let's see, the battle will be won in 104 days. Yeah, that's not accurate. Come on. Oh, these goddamn mountains take way too goddamn long to get through. A day to cross one province. That's awful. I mean, of course, the infrastructure in the region. Oh, we can't see it yet. But the infrastructure in these mountains here cannot be that much. Yeah, it's only three. Whereas this one is six. It doesn't even have railroads. That's disgusting. <laughs> That's just disgusting. What? Are we losing this? We are. It says we're winning, but we're really losing it. Yeah, alright. Help them. Come on! We're so close! Alright, break this line. Come on. Break it! Yes! No, don't... Who cares about them? Go in there. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Sometimes. I mean, that being said, the AI for this force up here was specifically just going to go to this line. It wasn't even going to invade Addis Ababa. Bah. Jeez, I keep doing that. Addis Ababa. Um, but... Yeah, no, I just want to finish this goddamn war. Just charge into the capital. I don't care anymore. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Like I said, the sooner we end this war, the sooner we can do other things, like the Triumph for Africa, for instance. If we're not done with this war by the end of this, I'm going to be really, really mad. <laughs> uh, of course, we only need about 40 more political power so that we can do the modifying government. Hey! Electronic mechanical engineering is done. Now, we could just go right into mechanical computing, which would give us another three research time. Or, we could, uh, we can go into something else. Preferably, support weapons. Alright, here we go. Alright, it's done. This battle is done. Almost there. Yes! Alright, where's that peace conference? There it is! Alright. So, the one thing that I love about this game, well, I love a lot of things, but one of the greatest things about this game is the peace conference. Now, it's set up in turns. Now, the reason why they do the turns is in case you have allies in the war. Depending on what war score you have with this certain country and how much participation and effort you put into the war, you can make these... Uh, where's our score? Our score is 41. Now, we did most of the work. There's, the total score will be fine. We could take all the states in this one war. But if we fought like the Soviet Union, for instance, that would be a lot of score to just upright annex them which is not really possible um so you'd have to break it up into turns you would take a certain amount of things each you know phase and your allies would go in between that it's not like europa whereas one leader one treaty decider essentially um and historically speaking it, it did evolve into these sort of treaties you know at the end of world war ii they all had a seat around a big table and decided how they were going to break up Europe. So, I mean, I just, it's, it's great. Anyway, end the turn and done. There we go. We annexed Ethiopia. We stole about 3,000 equipment, which was very, very nice. And we have a nice juicy front. Which we can go ahead and just kind of group up together into this army with the General Sebastiano Visconti Prasca. Again, I had names. I'm not going to be my strongest suit here. Who, it looks like, yeah, look at that. He got an ability. Mountaineer. Movement, attack, and defense in the mountains. Thank God. Uh, he is an excellent climber and skilled at mountain warfare. Even though he's like 80-something. Uh, that is pretty impressive. I, I, <laughs> oh, that's awesome. All right. We're going to make ourselves a little border around uh, the United Kingdom here. As well as replace these guys. I'm trying to do this before we end the episode, just so I kind of remember. There we go. Okay, and we'll start planning a naval invasion of Saudi Arabia. Where's their port? Right here. Right there. Great. Okay, now it won't happen, I don't think, until... Can we do it now? Oh, we can. Alright, so we can actually plan it now before we declare the war. 
which is nice because we need to go ahead in here and justify a war goal. Ooh. Do we do it now or do we wait until we get our, our communist guy? I think we wait. We will start the planning and all that stuff, but we're, we're going to wait. Uh, yeah. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching and definitely stay tuned for more.